We are on a 16 and 6 all sports run, and today we'll be breaking down a showdown between the Utah Utes and the Utah State Aggies, where we have a money making opportunity on a side. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I need to let you guys know about an exclusive offer that I'm running over at Sports Memo towards the end of the video. But for now, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, let us know in the comment section who you got this week in college football, whether it be a side, a total, or even a player prop. Be checking those comments and getting back to you guys. So we are running hot for our videos. We've cashed our last eight video plays, including a 3-0 NFL touchdown scorer prop for week one. That'll be a video that we do on a weekly basis, so I will keep I will keep your eyes open for that. But today we got number 12 Utah traveling to Utah State. Kickoff 4:30 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Right now we got Utah. Minus 20 and a half points. Total sits at 46. Utah has come out to a 2-0 start. They handled business in their first game, 49-0. No problems there against Southern Utah. However, last week, they jump out to a 17-0 first quarter lead against Baylor. And they had to hang on to this one and win 23-12. The big news out of this game is the quarterback, Cameron Rising. He left the game with a hand injury. It's it doesn't look like he'll it's super serious as they thought it was at first. It's still questionable if he'll play this week or not. Um, Zach Wilson's brother Isaac had to take over the quarterback role. Uh, he wasn't as effective obviously as Rising was, but they were still able to hold on for the victory against Baylor. Utah State on the other hand, they're one and one in their first game. They came back uh, to beat Robert Morris 36 to 14. And then last week, they were crushed. 48-0 against, against USC. Uh, their quarterback really struggled in this one. He went 18, Bryson Barnes, 18 for 27, 103 yards. No touchdowns, one interception. So looking at this game, I think that Rising will end up playing. But even if he doesn't, it doesn't seem to be as serious as they thought it was going to be. But even if he doesn't, I think that Utah straight... Utah State, I'm sorry, is going to struggle against this Utah defense. Last week, they held Baylor uh, to 223 yards of total offense with only 12 first downs, and obviously that's a much stronger offense than they're going to have to deal with with Utah State here. Uh, Utah State's also lost 11 of their last 12 against AP-ranked teams. More importantly, they have failed to cover the spread in each of their last five games we're getting a little bit of a bargain here on the spread. The spread was higher, obviously, prior to the the news about the rising injury. I think whether he plays or not here, I, I like Utah to cover this one. Uh, three touchdowns, we get we can get it at just covering with three touchdowns at this point. So my official play for the video is going to be Utah laying the 20 and a half points. Guys, I mentioned that exclusive offer that's over at Sports Memo. Use the code Steve25. S-T-E-V-E 25. It'll get you 25% off anything on my page. Daily packages, weekly, monthly, yearly, um, sports-specific packages, you name it. They're all 25% off. I would suggest to get a 30-day all-access pass. It'll get you all my sports, including 5% plays. It comes into uh, less than $180 if you use that code Steve25. I will be in action all week with the MLB. We're on running hot in the MLB 11 and 3 run in week 1 in the NFL. We went 3 and 1. We'll have more NFL plays obviously getting loaded as the week moves along. Unfortunately, we lost our college football play of the week last week, but we'll look to bounce back strong this week with another one. So, I if you guys want to check that out, there's always a link attached in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted on X or Twitter at stevesbook22 as well as at sportsmemo.com. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button on the way out. Good luck this week in college football.